Have you ever wondered why your hydrogen water bottle needs cleaning, even if you're using pure water? Well, stick around because we're going to explain everything you need to know about keeping your hydrogen water bottle clean, safe, and performing at its best. Trust me, you do not want to miss this, especially if you've been neglecting your cleaning routine. Spoiler alert, mold and bacteria can sneak in even when you think it's spotless. But first, a quick shout out to our awesome supporters who help make these videos possible. Thank you, your contributions keep the hydrogen knowledge flowing. All right, let's dive into why you need to clean your H2 bottle and how doing it right can extend its lifespan. Let's get real, most people drink directly from their hydrogen water bottles which is great for convenience, but also brings along unwanted guests, bacteria. Also, while using distilled water may minimize the risk of mold and bacteria, airborne proteins and particles can still make their way into your bottle. Think of it like leaving a cookie jar open on the counter. Uninvited things will find their way in. As long as there's water and exposure to air, mold and bacteria can grow. Yep, even in your H2 water bottle, it's basically a moisture paradise for microbes. That's why regular cleaning is not just a nice to do. It's essential for keeping your H2 water bottle working properly and safely. If you leave it unchecked, you might even notice a weird smell. Trust me, you don't want to find out what that is. Now, most manufacturers or H2 companies will suggest doing citric acid or vinegar soaks to descale the electrodes. And hey, that works. It's effective at clearing up those mineral deposits that build up over time. It definitely helps the performance of your bottle, but it does not clear up all the nasties. But here's the kicker. Not all bacteria are taken down by citric acid or vinegar alone. Some bacteria like acidophilus thrive in acidic environments. It's like how drinking orange juice or lemonade does not kill all the bacteria in your mouth. If that was the case, we could use OJ or lemon juice as mouthwash. So while citric acid or vinegar may help with mineral deposit, it will not tackle everything living in that bottle. Some hydrogen water bottles come with a self-cleaning function designed to disinfect the bottle and reduce mineral buildup. This function works by reversing the polarity at the hydrogen cell, causing the harmful agents generated at the anode to be produced in the drinking water. And the hydrogen gas will be produced in the generator itself. These agents include oxygen, ozone, chlorine, hypochlorous acid, and others. However, there's a catch. These disinfectant agents need to reach specific concentrations to have enough power to effectively kill harmful microorganisms. For instance, hypochlorous acid needs to be at or above 100 ppm, and ozone needs to be at 1 to 3 ppm. Unfortunately, based on our testing of these bottles with regular drinking water or tap water, they only produce a weak disinfecting solution, typically around 10 ppm of hypochlorous acid and only 0.1 to 0.2 ppm of ozone. That is 10 to 30 times less than the concentration needed for a strong disinfectant with a fast contact time. So while the self-cleaning function is a cool idea and may help reduce mineral buildup with frequent use, it is not very effective at disinfecting your bottle with regular drinking water. Adding salt to the water before running a self-cleaning cycle can boost the disinfecting power, but it still won't match the effectiveness of a high-grade disinfectant solution. This is where proper disinfection comes in especially if you're using your hydrogen water bottle daily. Now, let's not forget your hydrogen cell and your PEM, proton exchange membrane. If you don't clean it properly, it can get biofouled, a fancy term for bacteria buildup on the membrane impacting hydrogen performance. Like literally, it can form a bacterial layer on top of the membrane messing with the current. First things first, clean the bottle part with soap and water. Easy, right? Do not touch the generator or the lid with soap that may void the warranty or damage the electronics. It's a simple step and you'll thank yourself later. Now for disinfecting, we turn to the literal superhero of disinfecting, hypochlorous acid or HOCl. This stuff is amazing. It's my favorite disinfectant and my second favorite molecule after H2, of course. It's kind of like bleach, but without its harsh effects. HOCl is like the Superman of the chlorine family. It's 80 to 200 times more effective than bleach but more safer for humans. That means you can use it without worrying about the harsh, irritating effects of bleach that are associated with skin, eyes, and lungs. Why is it so effective? Well, it kills bacteria by easily penetrating its outer layers and stopping them from making energy. It's like cutting off their fuel supply. Quick, effective, and clean. The best part, HOCl is actually produced by your own immune cells to kill pathogens and viruses. It's powerful, yet bio-friendly. 
To clean your H2 bottle with HOCL, grab a 500 ppm solution. You can find it online for around 20 to 30 bucks per gallon. Pour it into your bottle and gently rotate the bottle for about 10 seconds. Rinse it out with clean water and boom, your hydrogen water bottle is disinfected. It's ready to pump out hydrogen packed goodness again. For the lid and generator threads, use a cotton ball or Q-tip soaked with hypochlorous acid and wipe them down. Let it sit for about 10 to 30 seconds and then wipe them off with clean water. Don't forget these areas, especially if you drink directly from the bottle. If you drink directly from the bottle, you should disinfect it at least once a week. If you're pouring it into a glass once or twice a month, it's just fine. Pro tip, keep track with a reminder on your phone. Your future self will appreciate it. To descale your hydrogen water bottle, check your user manual. If you cannot find specific instructions, here's a quick tip. Use white vinegar. Soak the bottle in white vinegar for 30 minutes or up to four hours if you have hard water every two weeks. By descaling, you're clearing off any mineral deposit that will be reducing your bottle's efficiency. Do not skip this step if you want your bottle to keep performing like new. Now, let's see what all this looks like in real time. I'm gonna walk you through the process step by step so you can follow along at home. This will make it all super easy to get your bottle clean. All right, everyone, so let's walk through this step by step. So first things first, I have my water bottle already broken down, hydrogen water bottle. Uh, and so this is what my bottle actually looks like. Um, I'll go ahead and show you just with putting some vinegar in this bottle and show you that. But first and foremost, let's just walk through this. So I already have my bottle portion from my hydrogen water bottle in the soapy water. And this is just everyday standard thing, right? Washing, washing your bottle, nothing big deal. Have some fresh water right here. You just clean your bottle portion you know clean it off get it nice and clean you can dry it off soap and water some bottles will be a glass bottle like this one others will be plastic in most instances you should be able to just wash your bottle portion of the hydrogen water bottle and it'll be good to go um and then what you want to go ahead and do after that if you um, was just be to connect the bottle portion to the generator that way you can add your hypochlorous acid um, and in fact something that you can do even before this is if you wanted to you can clean the threads of your generator but we'll do it afterwards just to just to go ahead and show you um, but here I have some hypochlorous acid already pre-made this is some really strong hypochlorous acid um, mine is probably over a thousand ppm but you can buy um, 500 ppm hypochlorous acid, uh, you know, online, Amazon, something like that, um, for rel for a relatively cheap price point. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and add some hypochlorous acid to this bottle. Doesn't have to be an awful lot. Um, I probably only have it a fifth full of that. Put a lid on. And then shake your bottle. Make sure it coats every part of the generator and the glass. Um, and uh, that's it, right? You want to disinfect it. The portion, the bottle portion, already be clean, but the generator is going to get it, and the top of the lid will, will get disinfected. You only need about 10 seconds or so. Uh, once that's done, you just open it up, pour it out. This is why hypercourse acid is really really easy to use um, it's already disinfected you want to get and get the rest of the hypochlorous out so I got some distilled water some pure and clean distilled water here just fill it up some distilled water rinse it around get some of that hypochlorous acid residue out and then you should be good hypochlorous acid has like a little mild chlorinated smell you can smell, make sure it's clean, and uh, there's no more uh, hypochlorous acid in there. You're good to go after that. Um, next step will be to clean your lid um, and the generator. Like I said, you could have did this step first, but uh, in the video, I was just going to show you this way. So anyway, you go ahead and take a Q-tip, dip it in some hypochlorous acid, and this is a really important step. You just wipe the threads with hypochlorous acid. Just wipe it out really easy like this and then you just let it sit for a second um, hypochlorous acid is pretty amazing at disinfecting just let it do its job you get these threads as well 
Um, and then that's pretty much it. You let it you let it sit. You can either take a rag, clean rag, and you can wipe it out this way. Or another thing to do is just take your Q-tip with clean water, and you can wipe it out that way as well. Or you can just put a little water in the in the threads like that. There's a couple different ways. And then you can just get the hypochlorous acid out that way. Either way works. <clears throat> and the uh, exact same thing here. Just go ahead and wipe it out. You can put a little bit of distilled water around the threads. And uh, pour it on out. Good to go. Dry your, dry your generator. You can also dry around your threads in there. All right, now your hydrogen water bottle is all disinfected and clean. Good to go. Put it back together. Now next, you'll notice that uh, they basically um, will say you should do citric acid cleaning. And I, I, obviously in the video, I recommend that as well. So what you wanna go ahead and do Move this. I'm gonna move this stuff over here and swap this over here. This is I got some white vinegar here. I'll take this clean water out of here, and all you do is just fill it up with a little white vinegar. I typically like to do a fifth to a third of the bottle. It doesn't have to be a lot, just enough to cover those electrodes. Sometimes get some of the mineral build up around the bottom of the generator and then that's that's it and you just let it sit for 30 minutes to up to four hours depending on the hardness of your water that you drink um, and that's it so this is how you would disinfect and clean your hydrogen water bottle super easy super easy um, nothing complicated about it um, and also descaling your hydrogen water bottle I hope this step-by-step -step helps, helps you guys. There you have it, your hydrogen water bottle is squeaky clean and ready to make hydrogen rich water. Doing this maintenance can extend the life of your bottle and make sure you're getting the best H2 performance from your bottle. Remember, a clean bottle means better hydrogen performance and safer drinking water. Plus, you will avoid any embarrassing odors or bacteria next time you take a sip. Found this helpful? Don't forget to check out the other videos in our series on hydrogen water bottles. There's a lot more to learn, and we got you covered on all the tips and tricks you need. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you do not miss out on the latest from H2 Minutes. We're always here to help you stay hydrated and informed. That was your squeaky clean dose of H2 in minutes.